Okay, back to our study of the biblical truth of our hymns. Today's hymn got meat, but I don't like the layout. The layout is too modern contemporary music, as I've said over and over. I wish somebody would break this hymn down and do a little more than contemporary music. Now, when I'm citing for this hymn, it's speculation. Uh, I've got notes. Some of it's got reference, some of it don't. Today's hymn is, I have decided to follow Jesus. And it's, I'm going to pronounce all these names wrong, so let me apologize already. Assam, India. A-S-S-A-M, India. According to P. Job, Job, the lyrics are based on the last words in Nuxen, N-O-K-S-E-N-G. A grown old man, G A R O. A tribe from Meghalaya, M E G H A L A Y A, which then was Assam, who converted to Christianity in the middle of the 19th century through the efforts of American Baptist missionaries. He is said to have recited verses from the 12th chapter of the book of John as he and his family were killed. I'm going to assume they were killed for the word of God, being in India. We have that. Then there's an alternate tradition that attributes the hymn to Simon Mark, M-A-R-A-K, from Johat, J-O-R-H-A-T, a song. So I'm not really sure. The formation of these words in the hymn is to an Indian missionary, Sadhu, S-A-D-H-U, Sundar, S-U-N-D-A-R, Singh, S-I-N-G-H, and I apologize, these are all Indian names. The melody is also Indian, entitled Asam, after the region where the text originated. American him editor William Jensen Reynolds composed an arrangement which was included in the 1959 Assembly Songbook. His version became a regular feature of Billy Graham and evangelistic meetings in America and elsewhere, spread its popularity. Due to the lyrics exploit focus on the believer's own commitment, the hymn is cited as a Pure, is a prime example of decision theology. Emphasizes human response rather than the action of God giving faith. This has led to it is not included in some hymnal. A Lutheran writer note it was definitely meaning when we sang it than it did for the person who composed it. So we've got We got a foundation of him here. But okay, the story behind it is interesting. It may be a moderate. And the recorded words of a man whose family were killed. Somebody has taken what he said and turned it into what I call contemporary music. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six words. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight words. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight words. It's done over and over and over. Let me show you. 
I have decided to follow Jesus. I have decided to follow Jesus. I have decided to follow Jesus. No turning back. No turning back. Though none go with me, do I will follow. Though none go with me, do I will follow. Though none go with me, do I will follow. No turning back. No turning back. The cross before me. The world behind me. The cross before me. The world behind me. The cross before me. The world behind me. No turning back. No turning back. I'm going to tell you the words not repeated in this hymn has got me. But somebody is taking that meat and just covered that meat in ketchup. I have decided to follow Jesus. Though none go with me, still I will follow. The cross before me, the world behind me. That's what this whole hymn is about. No turning back. The hymn book that I hold has a lot of hymns in here that should not be in here. And we've studied many of them so far. We, This is number 300 of in this book there is We're not going to do them all, so don't. 641. Here's one right here. Ready? Amen. 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 Well, what are, why are these hymns in this book? Here's another one. Amen. Amen. You can do it three times, do it four times. What is this nonsense? Okay, the, the Lord's Prayer. It's not the Lord's Prayer. It is finished. It is done. Christ has died. Christ is risen. Christ will come again. What is that? I have decided to follow Jesus. Though none go with me, still I will follow. The cross before me, the world behind me, no turning back. That's a great meat. It should not have been made into the hymn that we're reading. You disagree with me? You're allowed to disagree with me. It sounds to contemporary Christian music today. Six words, and you sing it over and over. I've decided to follow Jesus. Personal testimony, what I read. I am I am going to receive Jesus Christ as my Savior, and I'm going to follow him. Uh, he's already mentioned, I'm going to leave the world behind. Though none go with me, still I will follow. Listen, if it's well, either story, both men come out of India. Friend, like Israel, in India, I am told, I, I don't know much I do know some uh, Indian missionaries. Your family and friends are not going to hop on the wagon all pleased that you're following Jesus. India is a nation of just gods, innumerable, for everything and anything. And I've heard from a couple missionaries that they received Jesus and you know then they, they attached Jesus to the other gods. Here's a man of, of an area with multiple gods who has who has received Jesus. Hopefully, from a, the Baptist preacher was correct and proper. And not only have I received Jesus, but I have decided. He said, "I'm going to follow him. I'm going to be a disciple." And Jesus said, "You know, you cannot hate your mother, your father, your brother, your sister, and not be my disciple." And when you're in India and you're going to say, hey, I'm going to take a step for, for Jesus. I am going to be not just saved, but I'm going to be a disciple. 
you are telling your family, your co-workers, your friends, that all the gods of India are incorrect, they're wrong, they're of the devil, and Jesus Christ is the way, is the truth, is the life, and the only access to God the Father is through Jesus Christ, and no one go with me, I'm still going to follow Jesus. That's a bold statement, and a proper statement. What if his wife didn't want to follow him? What if his wife never got saved? What if she got saved and said, you know, I'm not going to. Whatever caused, like Lot's wife. Okay, we'll go, but my mind's still in thought. I had someone tell me one time, you know, I've been interested in the ministry and all that. You know, if my wife did not want to go, you know, you have to stay. You can't go to the field. Well, if the wife doesn't want to follow anymore, does that ruin your calling? My wife, Lisa, told me, wherever, wherever the Lord leads you, I'll go. So for a man of India to say, I'm going to follow Jesus and no one's going to follow me, I'm still going to follow, that's a pretty broad statement that really as an American, we can't understand. The cross before me. The world behind me. Everything that is of Jesus and salvation, the gospel. That's it. I'm going to go follow Jesus. I'm going to walk for Jesus. I'm going to preach for Jesus. I'm going to live for Jesus. And for the world, it doesn't please me no more. Now, for an American, that would be, American can relate on that one because, you know, there's so much world in America and England. We can understand that. A lot of things, convictions that I have and churches do not, and they look at me kind of weird. And But what you're doing is wrong. My heart and my belief in the Bible and Jesus Christ, I'm not doing it. I'm not going to do it because I believe it's a sin. And yet there are other avenues I do that, that they don't do and, and a sin. I'm a sinner. I need to confess my sin for God to forgive me and cleanse me. I'm not a holier than thou. Wish I was sinless. There are sins in my life I, I take part in and I shouldn't. I think this, uh, this, this writer this man and his family who died in India, he would have an awfully hard time to do the kind of ministry that is done in England and America today. I don't think he could go out openly and street preach. I don't think he could go knocking on doors, but maybe he did, maybe you can. But if this man and his family were killed, chances are the great open door to evangelism in India for him wasn't really an open door. So what are you going to tell this man in India? You got to be in church on Sunday. You got to be in church. It may have been underground churches. I don't know how India is, but I don't know how China is. In China, you're not going to find a church. And if you find a church, it's an underground church, and it's on the move, it's on the run. You're not going to put a church sign out in front of a building in, in China and say, all are welcome. Or Korea. North or South. So, what's... The foundation of this hymn I got is a modern family that the man himself says, I'm going to take a 
stand for Jesus and his walk talk by him dying for Jesus. That's what's preventing me to say that this hymn is trash. Now, the repeating trash. If I were to go take three stanzas and make it one, I have decided to follow Jesus. Though none go with though none go with me, still I will follow. The cross before me and the world behind me. No turning back. No turning back. Now it says he was quoting John chapter twelve. Let me It's the the one. It's Mary with with the fountain, the costly spikenard, and Judas getting upset. It was the feast. Jesus coming on it. You couldn't add any part twelve. I mean John chapter twelve. I don't like this hymn because it repeats the contemporary music. I got the date here since 2005, so it could have been contemporary. I think this. I think the words of this man and the the, the hymn and what we have today, I think, has been changed many different times. And maybe the original one the, in the Indian folk song that it maybe it's not like this. But the one that I have in this book right now, two repetitions. And yet it's repetitious with a strong foundation behind it. A martyr for Jesus. If it wasn't for that, i say this this, this hymn is horrible. But it's not because it's a true story. And I've got to admit, before I, I, I knew what to think, there's been times in church this hymn has been sung, and I get, you know, I've decided to follow Jesus. I've decided to follow Jesus. I decided to follow Jesus. I decided no turning back, no turning back. So none go with me, still I will follow. No none go with me, I'll still follow. No none go. That's my attitude. <laughs> Come on, he's doing it over and over. But the story behind it, you cannot exclude the story. So, I'll leave it to you how I feel. I don't really know. Hoping the next time, if we're called to sing on this, I'll remember the story behind it. And not have that attitude, but it does have that contemporary Christian style of saying words over and over. And to me, that's horrible. The wor the words without the repeating of this, they are meat. Excellent words of, of a disciple of Jesus. Wish every Christian will decide to follow Jesus. Wish every Christian would say, okay, you're not going to go with me, I'm going. I wish every Christian would say, I'm going to follow the cross of Jesus and walk and the world get behind me. I wish every Christian would do that. Strong message. I'm teetering. Teetering.